Hey everyone, welcome to a new week. My name is Alistair, I'm a member of All Nations Christian Centre in Reading, and this is my thought for the week. Hey everyone, uh, this week's thought for the week is anchored around hope. Uh, so anyone who's walked as a Christian for a while knows that hope is one of the three main uh, chords within the fabric of our Christian journey. Uh, so obviously those three chords being faith, hope and love. Uh, but yes, today we're, we're focusing on hope. Uh, and hope has been an area of personal meditation to me. Uh, so I thought I'd share that meditation with you. And how beautiful was it that we had such a great sermon from Pastor Billy uh, and he was speaking about the topic of should I trust God? Should you trust God? And should you believe in his goodness? And we were given a, a really beautiful scripture in Psalm 27 verse 13 and 14 that actually speaks about the nature of hope and how to hope. Uh, so here we go. Psalm 27, uh, verse 13 and 14. I would have lost heart unless I had believed that I would see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait on the Lord, be of good courage, and he shall strengthen your heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Uh, so in this in this world, um, you know, we are not alien to trials, to tribulation, to horrible things happening. And uh, oftentimes we have earnest desires and expectations that actually come under attack from those tribulations, from those trials. And the enemy who is always looking to seek, uh, to, to what well, he's always looking to steal, kill and destroy is looking for ways uh, constantly to uh, destroy our hope because hope is our nuclear ability to wait on the Lord for those expectations, for his plans and purposes for our life to come to pass. We are we have hopes, we have faith that those things will come, will come to be. And hope is our ability to wait in and to sit in that waiting period uh, unwaveringly, know, uh, knowing that those things are going to going to come to pass for us. Uh, so in, our, in us being able to wait, we carry a lantern for the Lord saying that he will come, he will come, he will come. And sometimes it's easy to hope uh, because uh, those hopes aren't, aren't very big. But when those hopes that are, are very big and are taking a long time to come, sometimes that lantern can dwindle. And we need to remember that while we are going through those trials and tribulations and while we're waiting so desperately for the Lord, that our lantern of hope shines a greater light into this dark world where people are are leaning on, on things that are perishable, leaning on things that won't see them through. Uh, they are looking at us, the household of faith, uh, who are leaning on God uh, to get us from point A to point B, from uh, the beginning of, of, a, of a prophecy of your life to the end where that expectation is met. And in Psalm 27, verse 13 and 14, we're met with a promise that uh, God is reminding us here that we will see his goodness in the land of the living and before that time even comes god will reform your character he will strengthen you and he will give you the courage to wait on him so when that expectation is met you will be able to bear testimony and shine a greater light into this world that really needs that light so i share that with, with all of you um my love to you all. My prayer is that you will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living in the name of Jesus. Have a blessed week.